name is uh, Sebastian Mako. I'm the lead developer of OpenSesame. OpenSesame is a, is a program, an open source program, for mostly for psychologists and neuroscientists that allows you to create and run experiments. And today I'll show you how to run an experiment that you have created with OpenSesame on a tablet. And the tablet that we're going to use is this one. It's the Nexus 7 by Google. A new tablet, fairly cheap one as well, 250 euros uh, at the moment. And on this tablet you can run OpenSesame experiments. So, let's take a look. Okay, so let's see the tablet in action. So first we activate OpenSesame. And if you're familiar with the software, you will notice that it's just exactly the same program. And it looks exactly the same as it would on your Windows or Mac OS or Linux computer. So there's no difference there. And it's just a matter of selecting experiment. We prepare two examples. And just pressing play to go. Right. And this this first is just a silly example of a questionnaire. It starts with a consent form. So you can accept. And bunny, are you a bunny? No. What kind of colors do you like? Right. And that's it. Experiment is finished. So you can just create very simple questionnaire type of experiments. But you can also create more complex for example, response-based or accuracy-based experiments, and we also have an example of that. Again, just a question of selecting the experiment, and pressing run. And the goal of this experiment is to, uh, you will see uh, a picture in the center of the tablet, and you have to say whether it's a kitchen utensil or a tool, and if it's a kitchen utensil, you press left, uh, the left side of the screen, if it's a tool, you press the right side of the screen. So it's just a very typical response time uh, experiment. And it uh, works like this. And as you can see, it works very smoothly. It's very responsive. So any psychology student will recognize this experiment as the type of thing that they've been doing for hours to, uh, to gain credit or whatever from the university. And then if you want to abort the, uh, the experiment, it's simple. It, there's a simple escape, uh, escape sequence, which is tapping first the left top of the screen and then the right top of the screen. And then uh, the experiment will abort. Right? So that is just, just so for testing purposes you can abort the experiment, but participants are not very likely to do this uh, accidentally. Well, you might have noticed that the operating system on this tablet is not the, the default standard Android operating system, or even iOS, the, the iPad operating system. But it's something else. And actually what I installed on this tablet is Ubuntu Linux. And that's also the reason for choosing specifically this tablet, the Nexus 7. Because it's very easy to install Ubuntu on this tablet, and it's also very easy to, uh, to recover the original uh, Android operating system once you're done. And you want to use it as a regular tablet. So, uh, that's a little bit of technical background. And then the obvious question is, of course, why you would want to use it? Why, why would you want to want to run experiments on, uh, on a tablet? And I can think of a number of uh, scenarios where it could be useful. For example, imagine that you have a small questionnaire and you need a lot of participants. And what you could do is just create your questionnaire at home on your computer. You put it on the tablet. Then you go out into the city or into the university campus, and you can just give the tablet to to uh, to participants. You can recruit participants. Obviously you have to be cautious that you get the, you get the, the, the tablet back after they completed the uh, questionnaire. But potentially that would be a way in which you can, can collect a lot of data in a very uh, short period of time. So another more clinical uh, application might be where you have a test battery that you want to submit to people for whom it's difficult to sit behind a, a regular computer. Then what you could do is put the test battery on the tablet and people could uh, perform the tests while they sit in a chair or while they lie in a bed and that could potentially be very convenient. So all in all I think it's a very useful uh, possibility to have, possibility to run your experiments on this, uh, on this tablet. Uh, in my hands it works quite well, very smooth, but I must stress that it is experimental, it's experimental to put Ubuntu Linux onto this tablet and it's also experimental to use OpenSesame on a tablet. So, uh, 
that being said, I think it's a very, uh, very promising, uh, well, a very promising uh, possibility. Thank you very much for watching.